Judas, who had betrayed him, saw that Jesus was condemned, he was seized with remorse and returned the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. I have sinned, he said, for I have betrayed innocent blood. What is that to us, they replied. That's your responsibility. So Judas threw the money into the temple and left. Then he went away and hanged himself. Judas was the man behind the betrayal. The disciple that conspired with religious Jewish leaders to have Jesus arrested and later crucified. It was only after Judas realized what he had done that he felt grief. So much so that he felt his only recourse was to commit suicide. We don't know what would have happened if Judas would have waited three days to see the resurrection and to see the other side of his betrayal. Judas didn't know that post-resurrection, forgiveness and grace were available to him. But we know that even after our mistakes, even after our betrayals, forgiveness and grace awaits. There is a third day after our sins, a third day where hope breaks through darkness where grace and mercy awaits. Regardless of what we have done, Christ is willing and able to forgive us, to give us a new future and a hope. Grace and forgiveness await anyone who's willing to turn to Jesus after they've done something they regret. Today, let's commit to pursuing grace, not living with guilt and shame. Let us pray. Lord, at times I feel like Judas when I betrayed your will for my life. Forgive me, I pray. Lord, in those moments when life seems hopeless, may I remember the tragic end of Judas's life and the story of your resurrection and help me, Lord, to trust you. Amen. Amen.